games just keep on coming. And our latest is on Tuesday in the League Cup, Old Trafford as we face League One Charlton Athletic. We are going to wipe the floor with your Charlton. There's no question of doubt in my mind about that. You might as well not turn up. It's going to be a complete and utter massacre for you. You know, you've had your run in the cup. Good for you. Now let the best club in the world take it from here. Okay? Unfortunately, this game is not televised live, which is a bugbear. Instead, they've picked Newcastle Leicester, which I can somewhat understand. Um, I'll love to see Newcastle knocked out two competitions in two in a couple of days. That would be sweet. Poetry in motion. Come on, Leicester. Make it happen. Don't you dare let me down. So come on, help me out. Beat them. And on Wednesday, um, Southampton versus Man City. Before we go ball sleep into the preview, we won't talk about what happened against Everton. That's covering no ground. We know we're through to the fourth round. Yada, yada, yada. So, we'll talk about what seemingly every man and his dog in the world and his wife is talking about. Apparently, and this is, this is annoying, we're going to sign Veghorst. It's a big fat zero from me. I would rather sign Foghorn Leghorn from Looney Tunes. Not confusing the chicken from Family Guy. You know, two shows, past and present, Looney Tunes, past, present, Family Guy. And this sign-in, if, if it goes over the line, sums up that we've been amateurish in the transfer market. What the hell has happened to this football club since 2013? It's complete and utter felony. We're Man United Football Club and we're trying to bring in a player who nobody really knew from Adam before he went to um, Burnley. And why would he go from playing first team football at Bashitas to being a squad player at Man United? Surely he would only want to sign if he's guaranteed to start. His goal scoring record in the Premier League is embarrassing. He's a mediocre, run in the mill, make do signing. For every Ruud van Nistelrooy, there's Fernando Alves. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's a former Dutch player, he played for Middlesbrough, and he scored in his debut against us. At Riverside, scoring two. He never scored a goal again for Middlesbrough. And then he disappeared without trace. Fair cost, 20 games, two goals. Single digit figures. Is he Gallo? History repeating itself. Another sign in, potentially this one, that would bite us on the backside. Igalo scored a couple of goals, and that was in the cup. This sign-in sums up how low this club has sank. It's sinking without chase. We used to have standards years ago, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're making do with, you know, a bulldozer battering ram. A player that doesn't suit the Tan Hag system. I'm not having anybody who says that it does. You don't. I bet they don't even know what the Tan Hag system is anyway. You know? And let's not forget that Tan Hag is the highest paid manager I Dutch and he is the fifth highest manager in terms of um, salary in the league out of five of the 20 Premier League clubs so he should be doing what we're seeing at the moment but I just know and got a feeling there's going to be a defeat around the corner this run is not going to continue Newcastle United had a run. Then they lost against Sheffield Wednesday. Remember, under Mourinho we had that run and we stayed sixth. Remember Arsenal had that run under Unai Emery. And then they finished, was it fifth under him? Just a couple of points out of the Champions League uh, there. 
you know. And it's also like, you know, all people say, oh, we want to win the League Cup. We're going to win the FA Cup. They got relegated. Burnham City got relegated when Alex McLeish won the League Cup. A year later, they got relegated. They beat Arsenal in that final. It doesn't mean anything. It's completely and utterly irrelevant. If that goal does not fit the profile of this football club, and if people are, oh, he scored two goals off the bench against Argentina for the Dutch. Well, big deal, so what? Did it amount to getting to the next round? No, it didn't. It was irrelevant. They might as well just lost the game in the 90 minutes. You know? Because Argentina got to the final and won the whole thing. But if you're happy with their ghost, good for you. I hope it chokes you. I won't be celebrating the signing. I might actually go on a rant. You know? He's not a Premier League player. You know, the Turkish League, it's not even televised live on the television in the UK. If you look at the list of league and the standards of leagues, it'll probably be bottom of the food chain. We're better than this. Absolute disgrace. Really is. And I'm not blaming the Glazers. i tell you something, right? Conte, if he doesn't get his first choice as he goes, fine. I'm not getting the first choice. I don't want a second choice. But if they overrule him, he'll go, I'm getting out of this club. I'm not staying here if you're going to undermine me. If you remember at Portsmouth, when Harry Rednap wasn't happy because Milan Mandaric, uh, was it Avan Grant he brought in? And he wasn't happy, Harry. And then he went to the arch rivals Southampton, if you remember. And he went, oh, I'm sod this for a game of toy soldiers. I'm not having any of this. And do you know what? Back in the day, I thought that Harry Renner was a little bit of a bully. That's what I thought. Back in the day. You know? So he wasn't happy with that. And then he went, I think he went back to Portland and then he won the FA Cup. He got, he got Southampton relegated, so you could say it was an inside job. But you get the idea with that. And those people saying, back the manager. So, if Tanag said to you, if you jump off this cliff over there, Eagles' wings were spread open in slow motion. Would you believe him? You probably would, wouldn't you? Ridiculous. I don't. I don't back Tanag. I'm Tanag out until I see instinctive improvements. But they're ghost. Stay well away from Man United Football Club. I don't want you. Stay at Bakshitas. Don't come to Manchester United Football Club. Period. So there's my thought on that. The team I'm going to pick for the Charlton game. Uh, Butlin in goal. Right back, low, Left back, Malasia. Centre backs. Um, Martinez and Lindroff. Little brain freezer. Um, I'm going to completely drop um, Casemiro from the squad. Because we've got three games in eight days. He's going to suffer burnout. And I hope that Oli, that uh, Tanag is not going to do what Oli Gunnar Nobe did and keep playing players. And whether we like it or not, every single manager has their favourites. Van Gaal had his favourites, i.e. or eventually Fellaini, um, you know, Martial, um, Mourinho Fellaini, you know, they both worship the ground each other worked on. And Oli Gunnar Nobe with Rashford and Greenwood. So, I hope Tan doesn't fall for the same trap. But I got a feeling, nagging in my system, that he's gonna. But Casemiro, put your feet up. We don't need you for this game. Rest up and recuperate for the game against City. Because we're gonna need you more than most in that game. So, bear that in mind, Tanag. When you pick your team. Um, midfield three, uh, McTominay, Fred and Ericsson. Uh, up top, um, it's tricky this, um, I suppose we have to persevere with Marshall up front, um, Rashford on one win, Sancho has to come out of the shadows, 
I don't know what's going on there, but he needs to play. And it's the perfect opportunity to give him a run out, see what he can do. He's missing in action. And I'm surprised the far Torres haven't questioned Tanag. Oh, why is he bullying Sancho? If that was Mourinho, they would be going, they'll be one in an inquest into why Sancho has been kicked to the curb, put to the wayside, why he's been treated with contempt. But because it's Tanag, you won't say anything. But I'll tell you something, further down the line, you will. And do you know something as well? You do realise, don't you, that Van Gaal got fourth in his first season. Mourinho didn't get fourth. So, more often than not, we bring in managers in the first season, they get what they want, and they finish fourth. So, it may be okay now, but in the second season, things can change pretty quickly. So, this could be the calm for the storm. Uh, and, I'm going to play Anthony. You know, we have, no, no, I'll wait. We'll play Alanga instead of, of Anthony. That's my team. Now, Chow in the league, in league one. Um, I don't know what the allocation is, but I'm sure they'll bring loads of fans. Um, bit of a wasted journey, because you're not going to win. But I suppose, you know, a, a trip to Old Trafford, you know, in these cold, wintry nights, I suppose, you know, um, you treasure those moments forevermore. But, um, yeah, Charlton, you know, they, they beat, I think, I think it was Brighton, I think it was, on penalty kicks. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to win. So, I'm going to go for Man United 3, Charlton 0. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.